Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso Live on S3 on a Sibalesha's Wednesday. Do you know why? Because if you've just bought a new house, okay, or if you are maybe recently the type of person who's found a love for the kitchen like I have, then the next few tips, they're just for you. We thought, let's hook you up. We've got your back, okay? The wonderful award-winning chef Siba is taking us through her top 10 pantry must-haves, and maybe this can help kickstart your pantry at home. These are things you really do want to have at home. And Chef Siba is going to start by telling us maybe why she has chosen these 10 specific items. Siba, there is a lot and it's all so different, but it all, as you look at it, does seem pretty useful and yeah. necessary in anyone's pantry. Yes, mm. especially for the pantry. So I'd like to start it off uh -huh. is my mornings. Okay. You know, having a very good uh, oatmeal is a necessary. That's if where it's we not, start. That's where we start. Okay. So that, that's the beginning of our day. Uh -huh. If it's not oatmeal, you can also do is do do. That's what we call it, which is a porridge. Okay. Maize meal porridge. So we dab between maize meal porridge and a normal porridge. And sometimes I'll do other versions as well. Okay. But cool. this is a very good way to start. So it's breakfast essentials. You've breakfast. got that sort of ticked, that's good to yeah. go, done. Okay, yes. so we've done one item now, sorted, and yes. the occasion is breakfast. What's next? Next, for me, is baking, you know, because I bake with my kids. I have another book called Let's Cook, um, and I did that book with my son. And we, we do bake quite a lot. He enjoys baking, I mean, yeah. and the kids come in, they, they gather around me in the kitchen, yeah. and we do stuff together. Yeah. So flour is a very big component of, of, of our kitchen, I simply because we do not only like baking, but also pancakes, you know, Because many getting the stuff. kids involved becomes very important when you try to teach them responsibility Ability. and getting into chores, but yes. also kind of knowing that, you know, the you food. kind of have to get your hands dirty sometimes yes. to get those biscuits, right? And what I often say to parents is that if you get them involved in the process from shopping, yeah. uh, doing the shopping with them and explaining the ingredients yeah. and actually cooking with them or them observing you as you cook, uh -huh. you get their buy-in when they have to eat the product because yeah. they feel invested in it. They also have a deeper appreciation for yeah. the food when it's ready and done. Okay, yes. cool. So that's number two. That's number two. Done. Okay, And cool. then we move on to winter warmers. I've just oh, finished so my... Necessary. Yes. So necessary. So <laughs> necessary, Siba. Very necessary. So we've just finished our, our beautiful uh, recipes uh -huh. and dishes at the restaurant and we've just created this beautiful winter warmers. I can't which is keep a special myself menu. away from your restaurant. It's oh. actually quite, it's it's insane. It's just, I just, I struggle to do that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And the beauty about it, you know, is that because we are, you know, fine dining is that we've got the flexibility to change the menu seasonally. You know, okay. it changes quite often. Uh -huh. So what I have for home yeah. is my winter warmers. I've got lentils. I've got lentils for days. Green lentils and yeah. all kinds of lentils. The fact that lentils, you can do so cetera. much with the lentils. You can soup, for instance, the soup you made earlier on. Yeah. You can maybe add a half a cup of this, and it really thickens it, and it becomes um, a very potent-based soup Rich. and very hearty um, mm -hmm. as well. And for me, lentils, I can slightly boil them for about ten minutes. Yeah. I add all kinds of seasoning to it, yeah. and I add it into my salads. Whether it's a potato salad, adding lentils to it adds so much more crunch and really also does. makes it look amazing. Mm -hmm. But also, it adds that nutritional value. Love your work yes. so far. And then, how gorgeous is this? What is that? No, it's... I mean, I thought we were doing kitchen essentials and yes. pantry essentials. Why it are we bringing essential. hair ribbons to the mix? Look, look hair ribbons. <laughs> what are, what, what are we that. doing now? With I this? love this. So I just want you, I want the camera to come and look at this. I love all things beautiful in the kitchen. And Wait, this is, is pasta? pasta. This no is, ways. It's called a ribbon pasta. Oh, so wow. you are on the money oh. with this. It's called a ribbon pasta. And this one is flavored with different flavors. So we've got a turmeric, we've got a spinach, we've got different flavors within this. And because I use a lot of pasta, I really try to make it really interesting yes. with the kids. Because look, this is beautiful, this is colorful, it's flavored with real uh, vegetables, yeah. and therefore it will go down well. Because so the I kids can get very bored very quickly With as the well. same thing. So Stunning. I do lots of things with pasta in my house. Yeah. I do, not, not your boring uh, bolognese mm. and, you know, the usual meatballs yeah. and, you know, I do a lot. We do Switch soups, we do st uh, stir fries, yeah. um, you know, we do bakes, um, lots of things with pasta. Yeah. So it's a, it's a big staple in okay. my house. Okay, so we're going to run through, literally, in five seconds, yes. the remainder of the pantry essentials. All right, perfect. So we said top ten, so yes. let's go. 
You need spices. Okay. So this is paprika, it's one of my favorite. All right. You need an oil, and a very good quality oil. You need a balsamic vinegar or some form of vinegar. Those olive oils, they're great, yes. Yes, and then you need some canned, good quality canned um, food, whether it would be your creams, yeah. like I have here, or your chickpeas or your tomatoes, uh -huh. etc. So Staples. that is my top 10. And of course, your seasoning can't cook without salt and pepper. Okay, listen, you got it all from Siba. I mean, listen, your kitchen is sorted, your pantry is sorted, and you've got a chance, again, to be sorted when it comes to winning this amazing book, My Table uh, by Siba. Which recipe by Siba would you like to try out? Go on to uh, Espresso Morning Show, SABC3, and let us know, because it's packed with recipes, and it's such a total burst of inspiration. We want to hear from you. Remember to use that hashtag, Expresso Show. Whether you're a busy professional, or maybe you're married, maybe you are living with your parents you want to elevate and this certainly does help you do that are we going to your restaurant after this yes okay, cool. I'll take some of your essentials. we'll catch you later